Am I the asshole for screenshotting messages guys sent me and sending them to their mothers? I'm an 18-year-old girl who is in college ATM. I've been getting bullied, harassed by three guys in my class who have taken to messaging me online with rather gross, harassing messages and not safe for work pictures that I'm sure you can all fill in the gaps without me going into detail. I should have reported them or just blocked them but I had, had enough so I screenshot every message they'd sent me and found their mothers through their Facebook pages and sent screenshots to them including an explanation of who I am and how their sons have been bothering me. Their mothers were horrified and shocked by what I sent them explaining what was going on and all three are on my side. Some of my friends think this is genius and exactly what they deserved but some of my other friends think I took it too far and it was out of line to put that on their mothers and also how I don't know what their home life is like. Am I the asshole for doing this? Should I have gone about it another way? Edit due to questions, comments. When it was just standard bullying I reported them but they only got a warning. The messages, pictures started after that as if to prove I couldn't do anything. I figured reporting them again wouldn't work so did this. Edit 2. Also whoever reported me is worried about my current mental health. Thanks. I mean I'm honestly good but thanks. Not the asshole. The people saying you took it too far are the same ones who would defend those guys' behavior as, just guys being guys. What they were doing is organized sexual harassment, and it needs to be forwarded to school administration as well. Those are rapists in the larval stage. Not the asshole. Each of these guys could potentially be charged criminally. Instead, you told their mothers. I applaud you for employing a method that will ensure they have some kind of punishment from their families. To be clear, it may not be any more effective overall than reporting to the police, but it's worth the shot. As for your friends who say you took it too far, I'd ask them how far they think the three guys have gone, and whether that's too far. Then tell those, friends, to F off. This is chef's kiss perfection. Not the asshole. Smart as heck. Please ditch any friend who said this was out of line. Men who don't know how to behave get either mom or the police. You chose well. This is gold. Not the asshole. You actually chose an option that would cause them less trouble for their future. Most colleges have pretty strict rules about bullying. They might have been kicked out. You picked the more effective choice without destroying their future. To be honest even if you had chosen to report them to the college, you would still have not been the awe. Bullying and sexual harassment should never be tolerated. Not the asshole. They shouldn't be sending you stuff like that without your consent in the first place. It's disgusting that some guys think that's okay to do. Not the asshole. You did report them just to a different kind of authority. They had no expectation or right to privacy of the messages they sent you. Good for you. Not the asshole. Run far, far away from any friend who thinks you're in the wrong here. Also, please look into reporting these boys to the school, jobs they have, etc. Protect yourself, leave a paper trail, screenshot and record everything. Not the asshole not sure where you live but if it's in the UK this is actually a crime now, and I imagine with its recent legalization the local police force would be rather interested in this too. I'd go the whole hog, fuck them and their disrespect for your boundaries. This happened to me prior to the change of laws. So I issued a warning that as if anyone shared the imagine with me I'd consider it my property to do as I wish with and share it on social media. Never had one again happily enough. These disrespectful sex pests need to learn to respect people's boundaries and unfortunately from my experience they don't seem to understand the word no. Am I the asshole for telling my mom she embarrassed me by arguing with a cashier? So my mom, my sister, 14, and I, M16, went to the mall to watch a movie. After it ended we decided to shop for a while and they wanted to enter this women clothing store. Once they had their clothes, we all went to pay. One of the things my sister chose was a $12 blouse. When the cashier scanned it, the price said $60 instead of $12 and the cashier said it was a system mistake. She said that she was going to scan a $6 ring twice so it can charge the right price for the blouse. The cashier did what she said but when my mother finished paying she saw that she had also been charged the extra $60 because the lady forgot to remove it. The cashier said it was a mistake and I was starting to get embarrassed because my mother asked for the extra money back. The cashier said she couldn't do that and called the manager who said that the store had a no return policy so they couldn't pay back unless she created a store account and made a minimal purchase. Long story short. My mom kept arguing with them until they just opened the cash register and gave her back the money. When we were in the car, I told my mother that it was embarrassing and I was ashamed. 
She got mad at me and my sister is neutral on the situation. Am I the asshole? You are the asshole. It honestly sounds like they were trying to scam your mother. She was smart to fight for her money back. In this specific case, you are the asshole. They tried to cheat her out of $60, whether on accident or on purpose and wouldn't give her the money back. She fought for her $60 because that $12 blouse was now costing $72. She did the right thing. $60 is a lot of money to say, forget about it, and walk away. You are the asshole. Your mother was 100% in the right to argue to get her money back. She wasn't arguing over a dollar or two. $60 is half my weekly grocery shop. You are the asshole. They definitely tried to scam your mother. Like, no return policy. You guys didn't even buy something to be charged that amount. You are the asshole sorry. I have a lot of social anxiety so completely understand how you feel. But the store was effectively stealing money from your mom and she had every right to fight for it back. I'm sorry you were embarrassed, but yes you are the asshole here, and so are the store employees. Your mom and sister had every right to demand their money back, as they were overcharged by $60. The fact that the cashier admitted her mistake but the store still did not want to fix it tells me that they were trying to taking advantage of your mother. I am glad she stood her ground and eventually got her money back. If she had not, then the store would have successfully stolen $60 from her. You are the asshole. Your mom did nothing embarrassing. You are the asshole. She fought for her hard-earned money. If it was your money and you didn't care about paying the $60 and she still fought for it, then maybe you wouldn't be the aw. You sound like you don't understand the value of money yet since you're not working for those dollars. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter I dislike something she does? I'll try and keep this short. I, 50, have a daughter, 25 female. Recently her boyfriend, 27 male, knitted her a blanket with her name knitted on and it doesn't look the best. But for some reason my daughter loves it, and whenever I'm visiting her apartment she almost always has it on her when she's sitting on her couch or bed. It does get really cold where we live, but the extent to which she likes this blanket is odd, as if she is a child who's obsessed with a stuffed animal or toy. I recently asked her about it and she said she likes it because her boyfriend made it and it reminds her of him since they don't live together yet, and it is extremely large on her so it's comfortable. I told her that she was acting like a child. She said that she wasn't. I repeated that she was definitely acting like a child, and that I found it weird. She told me she had no idea why I would find it weird and told me to leave her alone. I told her she was being infantilized and it was disgusting. She said that she would kick me out of her apartment if I didn't stop arguing with her so I remained quiet. I'm starting to think I may be the asshole for accusing her and her boyfriend of such things, am I the asshole? You are the asshole. It's a handmade gift from her boyfriend that she uses to stay warm and feel closer to him. You sound jealous. You are the asshole, of course you are. She is fond of a handmade gift her boyfriend gave her, there's nothing the slightest bit weird or childish about that. I'm guessing no romantic partner ever spent hours and hours making something just for you? If they had, you would understand why your daughter cherishes this blanket even though it's not the most perfect blanket ever made. You are the asshole if, using a blanket on the couch, is childlike behavior I guess I'm a child too. You are the asshole so you can't understand why she would really like a handmade gift her boyfriend made her? Seriously? I like having a blanket on my lap when sitting down too, I find it comforting. The only one who acted like a child here is you for even being so rude of bringing it up at her own place. You are the asshole. You sound jealous and a little off. Maybe explore therapy to figure out why a blanket bothers you so much. You are the asshole your daughter loves a precious handmade gift and that's somehow weird to you? This implies a hell of a lot about you, dot and none of it's good. Yta. There's no explanation required. She is 25. If she wants to make a goddamn fort in her living room, with the couch pillows, she can. If she wants to buy a Barbie dream house, she can. It's her prerogative. You can no longer tell her how to live her life, and, if you continue to say this mean stuff to her, she is so going to go no contact. You are the asshole. Her boyfriend took the time to knit her a blanket. That is a huge time commitment and a lovely gift. It wasn't perfect, but it was the thought that counts. And she loves the gift. So what? I love blankets too, but I really love and appreciate one if it was hand knitted. Am I the asshole for getting more expensive gifts for my friend than I do for my GF? My best friend of 7 years has a very expensive taste. I've always bought her fancy and luxurious gifts and she is the happiest when I do so. 
No I never wanted to date her or she to date me, it's just a thing we did and we were always close platonically. I'd do the same for my male friends as well if they had expensive taste. My girlfriend of two years never showed or implies she had expensive taste. So I just bought her some regular things because I knew she'd be happy and grateful either way. I didn't have to break the bank to make her happy and I really love her for that. But recently she raised a concern to me about how it seems very weird and dismissive and favoritism how I put so much effort into my best friend's gifts than I put to hers. She said she's feeling I favor my best friend over her because I put more thought and more research on getting her the perfect gift while to my girlfriend she assumes I just get the first thing I see just to be done with it. I explained to her that I buy her more random gifts because I know she doesn't prefer something specific and she'd be grateful even if I gifted her a chocolate. She told me that's the problem and that I never even thought of putting effort for her and that I'm simply not paying attention. It never occurred to me that way. Apparently she's been trying to speak about this but she claims I never get it and she feels like I ignore her on purpose and favor my girl BSF over her. Am I the asshole? You are the asshole. How does, less expensive taste, translate to, it's okay not to make any effort or put any thought in gifts for her. Of course you are the asshole. If you have the money then that's fine. Do what you want with your own money but seems like you put your friend's wants and needs over you gf. Just because you girlfriend isn't materialistic. She'd probably appreciate effort and memories over gifts. Just because your friend has expensive tastes, that doesn't mean you have to fund that. You are the asshole. So you only give, expensive, things to those who demand expensive things but for your girlfriend who would appreciate anything, including, expensive, things, you would rather not spend the money on her. If anything you should be spending the money on her rather than lavish your friend with expensive things. You've got it the wrong way round. You are the asshole. Not necessarily because you buy your friend expensive gifts, but because you never took a moment to get to know your girlfriend well enough to buy a gift that would mean something to her. Just because she would be grateful even if I gifted her a chocolate. Doesn't mean that you should take advantage of that. And hash x200b. Edit. Thanks for the awards. When she dumps you, your friendship will be the reason. As will it be with every single woman you prioritize less than your entitled friend who you obviously have feelings for. You are the asshole stop pissing away your gf's time and energy, let her find a real, loving, caring bf. Not you. You are the asshole. Start putting more effort into your girlfriend's gifts and stop buying your best friend expensive stuff. If your boyfriend wants expensive stuff she can buy it for herself. Apparently she's been trying to speak about this but she claims I never get it and she feels like I ignore her on purpose and favor my girl bsf over her. Am I the asshole? Ah. Uh. There's no, feels, like it here, buddy. You're literally asking if you're the asshole because that's what you're doing. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. You put all you time and money into your friend's gift and then get whatever for your girlfriend because she's not such a high maintenance princess. You don't want to, break the bank, for your girlfriend because you've already broken the bank for your friend. You insist your girlfriend is content with this when clearly she isn't. No, it is not appropriate or expected to blow your budget both cash and time, on a friend while the person you are in a romantic relationship gets the leftovers. She has been your girlfriend for two years and you haven't put the time and effort into figuring out what she really wants? You are ridiculous.